All right, guys, we're back. I'm not at 100% health. <laughs> well, I should say I'm not at 200% health. Um, but I'm pretty dang close, and uh, we've got all the nano paste we need. So let's chat with Boris and then Courtney before we continue on with the story. Ryzen, what is the status at the base? Overrun with desperado cyborgs. Although I killed expected. most of them. Security's still pretty lax, though. Yes, I don't think they're anticipating another cyborg to show up. I they figured they had enough cyborg the cuties. Doubtful there will be Sweeties, any cyborgs yeah. here, except at the base. Forces hired by the U.S. And more doubtful they're expecting a cyborg to drop in at Mach 23. The powerful Mach 5. Yeah. Still, they've got to know I'm here. I killed a bunch of them Sam and restarted the level a few times. That launch vehicle. Yes, but they couldn't have sent back up to this base within three hours after Sundowner died. Perhaps they could have arranged it so the plan was scrapped if Sam died. But if they already occupied the base, then there is no longer any canceling out. Probably not. Which means we pretty yeah. much already won. Sam's dead. The winds of destruction, too. Game over. And There's no way the final boss battle will be a challenge. Have a chance against me. No, certainly not. Though I wonder who is behind this operation anyway. Some guy named Tecumseh. Well, yes, but who is running things at the base? The senator would never be there himself. But this is too elaborate an operation to direct remotely. Nah, yeah. I don't know. He's got a good no cell phone. No network tech could take the place of a command structure on the ground. Got to be someone else from World Marshal, I guess. Some the kind of super cyborg boss. One with specialized compact body, like Sundowner and the others. I do not mean to alarm you, but use caution. Yeah, copy that. Enter caution mode. Yeah, I defeated all the cyborgs in the hangar, and then when I wasn't at full strength and I tried to leave the hangar back the way I came to kill some cyborgs I had uh, stealthed my way past, they had all disappeared. <laughs> so, what's the status? Overrun with cyborgs, except a few of them seem to have disappeared. Ryzen, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. All right, fine. So the right, right. Uh -huh. Didn't mean to talk to you. Already talked to you. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but he wants. And how do we... it's, it's definitely some sounds. What about they have people? You blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, so we save. We so see what. There's one thing I still don't get. Pakistani the food. It's crazy. Making it look like Desperado hacked their cyborgs. Wouldn't that damage their reputation? Who cares? Maybe they can hide the fact that they're involved in terrorism that way. But wouldn't they still be liable for the fact that they, you know, got hacked? They'd still get contracts. They probably would. Yeah. Probably. But yeah. The only thing they're looking for here is a profit. Maybe they need to demonstrate neglect if they're going to make any money off of this. Wait, what? How so? That doesn't make sense. Well, Kevin dug up some intel. Half of the contractors stationed here didn't get their contracts renewed at the end of March. The U.S. government rewrote their contract with Marshall earlier. Had to cut military spending after all, with the recession going on. And so they'll say the contractors were spread too thin to prevent the hacking. Oh. Exactly. Well, okay. And that'll only encourage the army to boost their Marshall headcount. Yeah, I, I don't know that's how it would work, but in this assassination attempt or not. Because that would be really stupid if they were. Well, what happened to the contractors they laid off? They got brain jacked, whatever that means. Hopefully they found work. But work like that isn't exactly easy to come by. Well, it's kind of a lot of it going around. Economy died down after the Patriots. Got defeated by my friend Sonny. Huh. When you put it that way, I can almost understand what Sundowner was saying. About being in yeah. touch with his inner child, the sadist? The just to boost your profits? That's crazy, Courtney. If there's no work for contractors out there, it's time to find another industry to work in. Not that I have any right to say that, but... Oh, come on, Ryden. Didn't we already talk Maybe about this? Maybe you fight, sure, but you're not that twisted. I made a joke about the Postal yeah. Service. Well, yeah, I'm pretty twisted. I mean, didn't you hear my crazy voice when I was being Jack the Ripper? It's pretty crazy. I'm telling you, that was some crazy so shit. Biden, let me get this straight. You're going to make a new Batman movie, and, and you're not going to call Adam, Adam West. That's what it looks like, yeah. You think it'll work? I mean, assuming he succeeded, what would be Desperado's motive for killing Hamilton? It's They're like trying to get a say, new Broadway well, musical to be even more, more successful. From. No. The only alibi I can think of for them is that their client set them up. The Pakistani government's on friendly terms with the U.S. right now. 
but a lot of people aren't so happy with them about that. The problem with the, this secondary dialogue is that it explores the inconsistencies and loop like logical holes in the main story. The main story, if you're not paying too much attention, it makes sense. They're evil co is trying to kill the president. Desperado's name was in the media all over the place. Yeah, the angle was always Desperado shacking up with yet another anti-government force. Pakistan's got a lot more than just a bunch of random anti-government forces, though. Like the ISI, the Intelligence Bureau. Anyone who watches the news knows how shaky their ties are with the civilian government. We'll be hitting on that. Still have the ISI be Desperado's client? Well, I'm sure the ISI would deny it. But it's not like simply issuing a denial would stop anything. Remember Iraq? Another yeah. slam dunk! Heard all the rumors about the ISI's involvement with terror groups. If Hamilton dies, the U.S. can join the Pakistani government, declare war against the ISI. And there's one big difference what? between Iraq and Pakistan. Pakistan does have WMDs. So you're gonna have to collect, I guess they're trying to start a civil war in Pakistan. Years ago. They can't reach the U.S. I'm not talking about firing an ICBM at the U.S. or unleashing a Metal Gear. This isn't a Metal Gear all game, after all. Remind us that the tech could fall into terrorist hands. Oh, yeah. That'd be enough to scare the entire country, I guess. Well, except yep. for those of us who are scare them think we're not. I think that we're nuclear proof. And then the war economy would come humming right back to life. No patriots required. Well, there's patriot Christ. news. All right, I better move. Uh, it seems like we just figured this thing out, and before that, I had no idea what was I don't going think on. Asked about Pakistani food yet, Courtney? Yeah, well, Mark get back talk? to work. I didn't know you were so interested, Ryden. Hey, I was making fun of her for being upset. Help you learn a lot about the local culture, you know. Ryden. It'll help me while I'm in Pakistan to kill American cyborgs. Pakistani food. <sighs> yeah, yeah. All right. So Pakistan's had cultural links with India for centuries. They're right? essentially one country. And they're neighbors, yeah. after all. And as a result, the two countries share a lot of culinary traditions. But we weren't able to fit all that onto the screen. Naan, samosas, pakoras. For the most part, that's all the same. The locals might be able to spot the difference. But a lot of American restaurants put India and Pakistan pretty much in the same bowl, so to speak. Mm -hmm. What are samosas? Spiced potatoes samosas. and other yummy stuff fried in a flour shell. I don't think I've ever Sometimes had one of those. I love curry, curry that's though. That's the kind I like best. But I thought India and Pakistan didn't really get along. How could it be that two countries that were one country for a century have the same food? They did. I mean, that's why they have nukes in the subcontinent now. It's a shame. But they're not fighting about curry. Wow, like the game just doesn't care about fitting the text into the screen here. This is supposed to be your indication. You're supposed to stop with this nonsense and get on with the story. have to compete for the same common resources. There's only so much curry powder. Isn't that why we have politicians? to peacefully manage that kind of stuff? Whatever. You know how few politicians out there actually give a crap about serving their country? They're not cool and mid cyborgs sorry. like me. This isn't exactly the light conversation I was expecting. I turned everything into shitting on the entire now. political process we while being above the whole thing. What's up? Gangster? No? Did you need anything? No. Okay, yeah. Yeah. she has the same one every time, which is convenient. You can always tell when you're running out of nonsense to say to her. Oh man, if this is another uh, nano paste, I'm gonna feel really silly. It's another nano paste. I could have uh, taken half as many trips through that area as I did. Not that it took me that long, but. Uh... Oh, there's my oven getting all preheated up. I'm gonna be cooking a casserole tonight. It's gonna be yum. One thing I confirmed with no doubt is that the camera hates you. When you're using the cardboard box to uh, evade these guys, like several times off screen, it just kept screwing me over with the camera. Oh, I had no idea they were so close to our perpetual energy source. Fascinating. The yellow attacks, by the way, are unblo unblockable, I believe. Red means uh, parry it, yellow means evade, or do enough damage that you knock them back like I'm doing here with this guy. Did 
be really nice if I got a chance to get some ghetto here, but I didn't crap. Because I think I'm about to come into the boss fight. I really should have gotten my health back there. That would have been good. Yeah, it really would have been a good idea to have full health going into this. Crap. Wolfie D. Yeah, way to keep being a, a champ, Wolf. You've been like a dominating force in our uh, organization ever since you joined us. What did you screw up this time, Wolf? Yeah, I am gonna give you to Sunny. You couldn't possibly be worse as an astrophysicist than you are as some kind of like warrior robot. <laughs> oh well, we're into the final boss battle sequences, and um, I'm not even going into it with full health. Although if I die, I. Uh, I will have full health. And it's a multi-stage battle. I might not actually not even have nano paste equipped to try to beat the first stage without using any. Ooh. What the? It's like some kind of giant robot. It's it's suddenly turning into a Metal Gear game. We're fighting Omega Weapon here. It's like Spider Robot. So, um, is this how they were gonna kill the president with a Spider Robot? I guess we're gonna find out who's commanding the operation. <gasps> but supplemental dialogue. Saucy Jack. Saucy Jack, Saucy Jack. Who's a naughty boy then? Just a little too late. Supplemental dialogue assured me you would not be here for this, sir. As usual. I'm what do you think? I'm pregnant? <laughs> oh. Impressive little toy you've got there. Is that the famous Armstrong and Fendris I've heard so much about lately? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know Bobo's watching this series at least because um, nobody would have any idea why the fuck I keep talking about Armstrong's adventure. <laughs> so. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding. All right, for the benefit of anybody who's just, we used to watch USWA wrestling. It was on like once a week at midnight on the local um, independent station, and uh, there was a plot line in which. I guess it was actually Bullet Barb Armstrong, or maybe it was one of his sons. They, Jim Cornette and his evil bad guys done him wrong. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was Smoky Mountain, not USWA. I think it was Smoky Mountain. Either way, <laughs> it's one of them Southern wrestling feds that we used to be able to watch back in like the the nineties, when they were really just kind of going out of business, but still trying to put out TV. And um, they did what I thought was a hilarious storyline, actually, where. Where, um, whichever it was, I don't know if it was Bullet Bob Armstrong or James Armstrong or some uh, some other member of the Armstrong family was the good guy, and they lost a match, and, and the um, they lost a match due to due to cheating and chicanery to whatever bad guy Jim Cornette was managing, and um, the stipulation was that if they lost, they would never be able to, you know. They were supposed to like have a match with Jim Cornette to kick his butt and finally silence him forever, which has not happened. But um, somehow, somehow, I don't know. The the point is, something was set up where the good guys had been beaten through chicanery, and now they weren't going to be able to have the match they wanted. So they're like, okay, we well, I can't fight you now because I lost the match. But do you have the guts to take on my Avenger? And then this this really skinny, wimpy looking guy came out wearing a mask and doing like putting up his dukes and doing like, yeah, put him up, put him up pose. And Jim Cornette's like laughing. It's like, oh, this guy, this guy's your Avenger. Ha <laughs> ha, he's a choke. Yeah, don't worry, I'll take him on next week. That guy's clearly, <laughs> I can kick his butt. He's a he's a wimp. And then next week when uh, the Avenger comes out, it's like <laughs> obviously a different guy. It's like this huge muscled up dude. I believe it was actually whichever Armstrong wasn't allowed to fight him, but wearing the same mask as the little skit. So, so one week on TV you have, I'm I'm thinking it was Bullet Bob, although I think he's too old, but Bullet Bob Armstrong is standing there next to the Avenger, who's a real skinny guy with a mask, but then the next week it's Bullet Bob in a mask, and Jim Cornette's 
proclaiming loudly, but that's Bullet Bob. It's clearly Bullet Bob. And and the commentator, whoever's like, no, that's Armstrong's Avenger. We know they're two different people. We saw them both together last week. I just thought that was so so hilarious. It's like making fun of the silliness of wrestling. And it's also distracting me from um, this big final showdown we need to get going with here against Senator Armstrong, who is kind of a bad guy. Check the internet lately. There's a lot of porn out there, Jack. You should check it out. Right. <laughs> Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. You know, you the killing cyborgs? Show me. You must be from Missouri. How did they? Oh, wow. I didn't kill that many guys. There weren't that many guys in the level. The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. What? Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. I love the fact that there's a one at the end of the exclamation marks there. Yeah, Axis of Evil, fine, but the the post above. And this is this game came out, what, in the 90s? Late 90s, early aughts, something like that? I mean, ugh, I could look it up. But it came out after 9-11. It came out while we were... Uh, it came out, obviously, after it was widely accepted that the second Iraq war with the case for WMDs was... There's a... I don't want to get all political here. There are people who think it was an honest mistake, that the intelligence seemed to indicate there were WMDs and there really weren't. There are people who thought that the entire thing was cooked up and bogus and that it was this always this thing where, you know, the government tricked the people into supporting a war, whatever. But that was the that was the big thing that was going on at the time was we were at war in Iraq and um, we mean the United States because I'm an American. Um, your mileage may vary. <laughs> You may, in fact, not be an American. Shocking thought, but uh, no, that was the that was a big controversy at the time. But what I like is so now it's very different. Like people don't talk about message boards as much as they get ramped up about like Fox News and you know other news sources too, like you know MSNBC or whatever. But but people get ramped up about that more than they get ramped up about people just being dumb online. And people get worked up not about people posting dumb political shit online because they don't know what they're talking about so much as like how much of the stuff that's posted online is actually coming from like Russian trolls and it's like intentional political manipulation and all that stuff is pe- the stuff people talk about and think about I just appreciate that in this game which never in this game it doesn't occur to anyone that the nonsense online is being directly injected into the internet by ne'er-do-wells it's just oh the ne'er-do-wells are manipulating things to get people riled up online I guess Metal Gear did think you know, the Metal Gear series did have, like, I guess the Patriots were probably supposed to. They never come out and said this. But, yeah, their their misinformation campaign probably included stuff like this. But what I really do appreciate right before I pause it was we should put a boot up their ass, which was exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, and then the number one. But the president was saved. And yet he found Jesus. By Americans. Well, that's how it happens most of the time. But nothing to start a major war over. Uh, right. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. You're not supposed to say... Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, probably you're not going to go into, like, a world war over over something like that. But no, you're not really supposed to say that, right? And you'll never be elected now. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy... He's got an oddly shaped head. Memes. They left us their... Oh, really? Nationalism, unilateralism, materialism, socialism. No Wait, never mind. For those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own, give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. This so we'll speech do of his is going to be all over the map on. before it's over because it's going to be split out over multiple cinematics. War. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. And that's like Keanu Reeves in Matrix style arguing there, just yelling, Bullshit! We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're they want Yolulu and our color changed. Every American memes. man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! 
Yeah, okay, whatever. Reference to a previous game, great. Sons of Liberty, Guns of the Patriots. Now we have Sons of the Patriots. Stop. And the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? Yeah, actually. According to a lot of people. Job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me. A little more so if you're really impressed at how they prefigured all this so in the 90s, this was pretty much already understood. Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. Like me. Make it start it. Start it. I've got to start it. Oh, yeah, you are a robot cyborg, like a cyborg ninja Put murder machine. Witness reports complicating the message. <laughs> All right. So if I fail here, I believe I get to restart at this fight and not have to fight through that hangar full of guys again. Very short level before you get to this. Oh, he's got a little video game controller for his super robot. Anyway, I'm a senator, a football player, and an approved Metal Gear pilot. I haven't fought this in a long time. Uh, I don't think this is going to be too bad. It's like this is a multi-stage battle. I'm, there are parts coming later where I'm going to be just terrible. So I need to get off of the nano pace so I'm not wasting it. I don't really see a lot of point in using that. Oh, I was really hoping I get to call people and talk to them during this fight. Sorry, guys, we may not get to combat in this video. <laughs> right, the tank is from AT Corp, codename Metal Gear Excelsis. Oh, how the hell do you know? Metal Gear. Not nuclear equipped, but Metal Gear is still in the product name. So Metal Gear really doesn't mean anything now. Perhaps the term was coined because they were meant to serve as gears, gears linking infantry with weaponry. Duh. I guess Ray didn't have any nukes either. Duh. It will be useless as a technical weapon with that sort of equipment. Once we entered the era of asymmetrical warfare after the Cold War, the idea of a deterrent force fell out of fashion. Right. Yeah, it hasn't people really happened. Weapons but... that can actually be used to kill people. Yes, I would guess they call it Metal Gear to separate it from smaller Walker-type UGs. Hugs. Excelsis means high or lofty. It is also the species name of Apatosaurus, the dinosaur. Apatosaurus. That used to be but what kind of Metal right? Gear game would be dumb Instead enough to name a Metal Gear after a dinosaur and have a giant dinosaur I'm Metal sure Gear? They can afford it, but I thought the whole point of Tecumseh was to shift the blame away from World Marshal. Yeah. It is smokescreen, I think. Part of this op must be to disguise the source of their funding. I know Desperado makes good money, but this is not a thing thugs like that could purchase. I think the purpose is to make this incident seem bigger and more elaborate than it really Maybe is. Maybe it's just that we wanted a giant robot boss. Like more than a simple Pakistani border group supporting Desperado. It suggests that ISI is involved, or maybe terrorists from an OPEC nation. It will lead to war. A world war. One with two very distinct sides for a change. Uh, all previous world wars Armstrong had two distinct sides. If the Western nations begin chasing down terrorists... They will respond in kind, just as before. And before long, Western civilians will once again become targets. Can you stop it, Ryan? Don't know, but I gotta try. Okay, so once again, the idea that Senator Evil has a giant Metal Gear that you fight at the end makes perfect sense if you're just playing through the game not doing any of the codec calls. Like, I never really questioned it watching a Kalos play through the game, and he skipped all the optional dialogue. But then you talk to Boris, and they try to shoehorn in a reason that the, that this thing would be here as part of World Marshal's plan. And no, it doesn't make any sense. They're trying to make it seem like terrorists were trying to murder the president. And and then they bring in this robot, and he's like, uh, they're trying to make it seem like ISI is involved. Because uh, ISI would have giant Metal Gear monster. It's like, would it? Boris, who leaked those photos to the internet? You know, me and Rose. Know. It may have been under Armstrong's orders. So he never intended to kill Hamilton at all? That's kind of hard to believe. That the story doesn't make any sense. After you killed Sam, Air Force One was not going to land at the base if you were there making mayhem. Perhaps they predicted that after Sam. So they decided to act first. 
leaking the data and taking you on with full force. It is possible at least. This might explain the giant keeping hold in our story. Entire plan just for me. What an honor. It is just a theory. But either way, <laughs> I like the fact that like, well this might be what's happening, but you fill in the blanks any way that makes the story make sense for you, kids. I mean, even Kojima, like, is, is, the shit wouldn't make sense, but there would be an established thing that was supposed to be going on. By damaging the legs. Just do Sweep the leg, Raiden. Not even you would survive such an impact. You must keep on guard, Raiden. On guard. Sweep the legs. The leg. Okay. You must keep... Sony, I have to say. Raiden, are you okay? Buster That's Wolf! That's pretty crazy Metal Gear. I Top love Metal Gears, by the way. Mark two and three, huh, Sony? In the end... Nothing ever changes. Science always ends up being used for war. War, war no, never changes. Like any weapon, it's only a tool. Zero it's tool. All up to who wields it. Not everyone has their own selfish agenda. Some people like you are making a difference for the better. That's very flattering. Now don't get stepped on by the giant dinosaur robot. Cheer up, Sonny. You have the power to bring hope to a lot of people. Yeah, you're right. You're really gonna step it up in the sequel to this game, which is inevitably coming Raiden, out. Are you pets of kind of a no, Raiden, are you okay, Buster? Yeah. And now, hopefully, this will say no response, but it might just be, well, be like, um, I can't help you right now. Yeah, okay, no response. So they were paying that much attention. My, my. A Metal Gear Excelsior. Oh, my, my. Oh, hell yes. What the put on that party dress? It made the news several times during development. We're being the but biggest, the stupidest robot ever. <laughs> it's enormous. One of the first large scale multi legged tanks AT Corp has made in some time. Yuchis have grown smaller and smaller, but this is certainly a 180 degree change of direction. So why do it? The advance of artificial musculature is one reason miniaturization has grown so rapidly. And uh, that's not really an answer to your question. Nuclear deterrence to asymmetrical warfare. Deploying such a large unit for guerrilla or urban warfare would be uh, overkill. But you'd get extra AP points. Alone would be stupendous. Once cyborg tech began to advance, though, small-scale UGs were no longer so effective. Against an adversary of the same size, a cyborg with human-level decision-making skills, well, it will always have the advantage. Mm. So, as the theory goes, why not make UGs giant again? Overwhelm the cyborg with sheer firepower. Because it's hugely expensive and causes lots of collateral damage, as you'd already said. Overkill, but it's still no good in urban combat, right? Correct. Assuming you weren't intending to raise the urban area in the process, anyway. Oh, so Wouldn't if you're Dong Shuo, you're gonna have lots of Metal Gear Excelsis. is too large for many parts of city areas, but also too small to simply trample any buildings and such standing in its way. But this magnificent beast, it could smash whole houses without even breaking stride. It's basically a kaiju. It's just sorry, but fuck you, civilians. Well, no, the I mean, doesn't actually have feelings at all. Um, houses. The media would have a field day. I sincerely doubt they care. If a U.S. soldier dies in combat, it's well, nationwide. The media wouldn't care news. about American if robots destroying cities. Killed in an airstrike, nobody gives a second thought. <sighs> but you know, they talk about the deterrence. Everybody in this game is incredibly cynical. Striking fear in people's hearts. If there is a UG airstrike, you don't have any time to flee. But if this behemoth was lumbering your way, you'd run. Anyone would, except trained gorillas. In the mist. Thus, the UG would only be fighting against actual combatants. With a manned ground unit like that, there's a lesser chance of erroneous strikes. Plus, the legs make navigating rugged terrain a veritable walk in the park. <laughs> I like that. And it would take much more than a rocket launcher to take it down. The crew couldn't be safer. Is there really that much demand, though? I, I ah, resent the idea that the, the American question, public yes. and the entire the media wouldn't care about now. the U.S. If doing airstrikes on civilians. To, too long, <laughs> but I like the fact that, like, of course America should be building giant death bots. Multi-leg metal gears are quite a difficult battle. The legs give it a wider defense range, you know. So first, destroy the armor on the legs. Then, cut them off once the legs are exposed. Sure thing, though. Needless to say, getting stomped down would be extremely painful. Beware the legs and front arms. Multi-leg metal gear, so neat. So the game generally doesn't let you... Ch like, unless something was 
was wrong. Like, I couldn't activate the codec before during my fights against Monsoon and, and people like that. Um... But I like that they're bringing back the tradition of even if they can't, they're not telling you that much. And this game doesn't involve like tricks, trick fights the way that the proper Metal Gear games often did. But um, at least you can actually talk to people and they'll like tell you about sweeping the leg. Right. You okay? Buster Wolf. Yeah. Just wasn't expecting that. That's all. I told you expect no, anything. At all for Takumse to work. Fabricating an assassination attempt was all they really needed to do. Yeah. Should have guessed considering the political climate in the US. I should have guessed to deploy a giant robot spider monster. You know, scapegoating foreign interests in order to divert the public's attention. Which played a part in the Patriot memes. Just like he was saying. Probably. Probably, yeah. If being an American is the only thing you've got to be proud of, it's easy to just start blaming non americans Like your, for your, your college football team loses. <laughs> it's not just a US thing either. You've seen how anti-immigration all the first world nations are these days. Mm. The whole they took our jobs bit. It's an easy they story to The Patriots spreading their memes worldwide. That's how Armstrong had probably put it. And just like he said, materialism runs rampant among the financial elite. They see exploiting the poor as a sign of their success. They enter businesses that accomplish nothing for anyone besides themselves. What a bunch I mean, of jerks. It's a fact that manufacturing jobs have been drained from first world countries. Immigration or not, that's not the immigrants' fault. It's the fault of the bankers and the financiers. The folks but anyway, you're trying to fight a giant spider robot right now, so, um... Yeah, pretty obvious if you take a sec to think about it. And I really don't have a lot of time to spare, which is why I said sec instead of second. Hell of a lot easier to passively accept other people's opinions and standards. Thanks, Metal Gear for Vengeance <laughs> Rising, whatever, for telling me what to think. I will accept your... Spread those around a little more. Sure is. But before that... I have to defeat a spider robot. Think you can stop him? No matter what. So it's hard not to get political while playing this game. Again, if you listen to the optional dialogue, if you ignore it... You can play this game, it's just an action game about ninjas, but even the, the main story dialogue, particularly with Armstrong and his speeches, gets into political stuff. But um, remember that whole thing, how I have cancer? Yeah, when I was uh, spent a week and a half in the hospital recovering from the operation to remove it, uh, probably about two-thirds to three-quarters of the nursing staff were immigrants. And... Um, I am a uh, big booster of nurses after that experience. Like, you know, one or two of the nurses I had a, wasn't a very positive experience. Although, actually, the, the one nurse that I really wasn't that comfortable with uh, was American. <laughs> and like I said, only about a quarter of the nursing staff I worked with were Americans. And when I say American, mean I mean was born in America. So, like, when they get into the whole uh, immigrant stuff, like, yeah, I... I Probably if you're not crazy about immigrants and you're worried about the economy and you don't think immigrants are a good thing, like, sure, you're entitled to your opinion. But when, when games start getting preachy about that stuff, um, I'm not inclined to to yell bloody murder at the game because I'm thinking, like, yeah, that woman from El Salvador, like, um, I don't want to get too graphic. She cleaned me up when I couldn't clean myself up. Let's leave it there. <laughs> You've got to stop that thing, Ryden. If Armstrong becomes president, he's going to make the U.S., hell, the whole world, a living nightmare. Oh, I got nothing to say to that. You hear that speech? Hell of a politician. Yeah, Kevin really yeah. could be a politician one day. Scary. He's calling this an anti-terror war, saying he's not going to harm any civilians. But I think he wants to harm lots of civilians. Killed already in so-called war. <laughs> that was really a joke. That's kind of what he wants to do. Here is all fake. Yeah, Victor. Not exactly CNN Victor in Pakistan to terrorize the government. But I mean, this is so ridiculous. Going on this noble I would like for there to be one member of your Kodak team who's like a hardcore Fox News person. But they they actually like write their supports. What do you mean? Well, never. Mind. You saw the footage. Hamilton's fine and still everyone's calling for blood. The people have spoken. They want war. And Armstrong's doing it all for the money. And for his polling numbers. Just Bastard be the money. Do whatever it takes to get the public on his side. Wow, imagine that in a democracy. I don't know. 
Then what? Uh, What's it gonna choose? Three more Hamiltons if pop the world's up. Gonna do or its own thing, either way. Armstrong's. What's the? Right in it. Get a hold of yourself. You're fighting because a giant spider robot. Work. That makes it okay to start one purely for profit, for some twisted sense of pride. No, I'm just no. saying that the world's shit and, and that I can't again. stop that. I'm trying to kill you. Look. Oh, that's a good point too. <laughs> How about I save your data while you get your head together? Good plan. Right. Save complete. I know I can't do much more than that, Raiden. But just try to get back alive, okay? Guess you were right, Courtney. Only choice I have here is to stop him. Good luck. Want to save your data first? No, but I'd like to find out what kind of cuisine does Metal Gear Excellus eat. Are you sure? Just send me a codec if you change your mind, all right? Guess you were right. Only choice. Good luck. All right. Are you sure? Just send me a codec if okay. you change your mind. Okay. So there we go. That's it. Uh, I guess to so to close out this very political video, I would say. Um, one of my pet peeves in life, I, I tend to be a contrarian and I tend to accidentally piss off people in any political conversation because um, I'm a contrarian. Like once once things are going and like I find debate more interesting sometimes than harmony, um, that's gotten easier for me to avoid around the house since our current president is um, – everyone in my family feels the same way about our current president. Let's put it that way um, as I record this thing. Uh, but I hate straw man arguments. Even if the point the straw man argument is making is valid, it irritates the fuck out of me when you have a scripted piece of fiction where all characters who are portrayed sympathetically in any way all have the same opinion and make a bunch of speeches about how bad something else is and the thing that's bad is only represented by characters who are portrayed as being loathsome. So, like, in this case, it's like, I don't know, like, could one character from Maverick, like, Boris would be the obvious choice since he is the head of a, basically, it is a company that does, like, military contracting. You think one of them would occasionally say something that's, like, Armstrong's taking it too far, but you have to admit that, and then whatever the arguments are, I wouldn't agree with them, but you could argue like, well, human human life has been advanced by technological research, and the DOD is the cutting edge of, you know, the internet was invented by, came out of research funded by DOD. That's like one of those things like, okay, yeah, that doesn't really make, that wouldn't make what Armstrong's doing right. But it would be an example of some vague effort at even-handedness instead of just, like, a, a series of characters competing to be as angry as possible as the completely unrealistically one-dimensional evil politician warmonger bad dude. All that being said, um, Armstrong is actually a pretty great villain uh, as far as, like, giving you reasons to want to kick his ass. And he's trying to kill us with a giant spider robot, which is one more reason to want to defeat him. <laughs> we'll see if I can do that in the next video. Catch you then.